Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. So today's video is gonna be pretty chill. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So as you can see, my nails are already nice and prepped. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing on these nail tips using a little bit of base coat. And once those nail tips are cured on, I'm going to take that same base coat and just go over the nail tips a little bit. And I'm not going over the entire nail, I'm just making sure to overlap the nail tip. And this kind of just helps to make sure that these don't pop off once I start to shape these up. Once I have that done, I'm going to start cutting down my nails using these tip cutters. And today we're going to be doing some pretty short almond nails, so I'm cutting off a good bit of these nail tips. And this is just personal preference, but when it comes to my almond nails, I like to make sure that my thumbnail is the longest nail and my pinky nail is the shortest. And that's simply because it kind of gives the illusion that they're all the same length, even though they're technically not. Because if you go the exact same length as your other fingers for the thumb, the thumbnail is going to look so short in comparison. And that's mainly because you're thumbnail is larger so it kind of doesn't give the same look and vice versa for your pinky nail it should be kind of shorter because again if it's the same length it may look a little bit longer than the rest so definitely do keep that in mind so after cutting these nail tips into the rough shape of an almond i'm just going to take my nail file and file everything nice and smooth Okay, so the nails are prepped and now we're ready to move on to today's application. So for today's application, we're just going to be doing a complete single color. This is a custom acrylic that I made not too long ago. And it's just a simple nude and clear base mixed in with a little bit of glitter. And all of the products that I mixed into this, I will make sure to have in my description box below. So for today, I thought it would be fun if I just chatted with you guys just to kill some time. So as I mentioned, these nails are going to be pretty simple. And one of the reasons for that is because one, I've been doing a lot of extra nail sets lately and... I'm so sorry. Like, I know there's a lot of simple girlies out there who watch me. So my apologies to you all. I have to do better. And two, I just feel like this was such a therapeutic session for me and just a nice reset because honestly, things have just been very overwhelming. And I just don't really feel like talking during the video, especially when I'm not feeling the greatest. So whenever I'm not talking during a video, I'll just listen to some music, maybe even listen to some ASMR. But for the most part, I do like to watch TV shows shows or movies or whatever and while i was doing these nails i was currently watching the walking dead and i've been re-watching that for maybe the past couple of months and that's been really keeping me entertained because literally every single time i watch this show i feel like it's just so captivating like i don't know what it is and i've watched the show multiple times like every single time they drop a new season i feel like i kind of rewatch a good portion of the show even if it's not all the way from the beginning but i feel like it's a good way to like kind of recap on everything i missed because i'm very forgetful and i'll watch something and be like yeah that was really good and then they'll ask me like what happened in it and i'll be like um well like i don't really know so yeah i kind of like rewatch it sometimes and like i said i just have a really good time like watching the show I don't know what it is. Some other things that I typically watch when I do nails are, I've been watching a lot of Kengan Ashura, which is a Netflix anime. And when I tell you, this show is so good. I don't know what it is. Mind you, I've watched this show multiple times, but every time I watch it, I'm like, oh my God, it's so good. I don't know. There's something about big buff guys just fighting that really, I don't know. It really captivates me. And not like that, okay? Please don't misinterpret what I'm saying. <laughs> and with that being said, I'm not into buff guys. I'll be honest. I'm just not. But it's entertaining at the very least. And I don't know, something about like fighting anime shows that don't really have much plot wise i feel like they're really easy to fall into because you don't really have to do too much of like paying attention and when i'm doing my nails i can't really focus on anything else so just putting that on as background is really nice and if i'm not watching big buff guys fighting or people getting mauled by zombies i'll probably watch like a horror movie or something like that one of my favorite horror movies ever like to this date is the lighthouse that came out in 2019 with robert pattinson and anyone in my personal life literally knows that I love Robert Pattinson so so much and no I do not like him from 
Twilight. I feel like in Twilight, he was so unattractive to me. Like I literally can't even, but anything outside of that, I am like in love with him. Like I just, I don't know what it is and do not judge me, okay? I don't know what it is about him. And then The Lighthouse, I love his character and his acting. And I just feel like the movie is so funny and entertaining, but also really creepy. And I just love it. And I just love horror in general. And maybe that's not directly evident by the type of person that I am. I don't know. But I just find horror to be so entertaining. And I don't know. I don't watch it for the intent purpose of being afraid. It's more just for a good laugh like i don't know something about horror and people being scared is funny to me and that's probably really toxic and problematic but i don't know sue me but anyways yeah i was kind of just catching up on the walking dead and just kind of taking this time to focus on some nails without having to i guess talk was really nice i don't know but yeah we are nearing the end of the application so i'll just be quiet for now and of course we'll be back to shape and file these nails So the application is done and now we're going to go ahead and start shaping up these nails. As you can see, I have my dust collector ready and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. And if you've seen any of my other videos with almond nails, then you know that I just like to use a drill bit for this step. I don't really like to use a nail file because I don't really find it to be necessary. And also I feel like the carbide bit just makes the surface a lot smoother for the nail art portion. And once I've smoothed over the surface and corrected the apex and everything, afterwards I like to go in with my nail file just to correct the shape.
So the shaping and filing is done and this is what my nails are looking like so far. So before we move on to the nail art, I'm just going to wipe off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So for today's nail art, we're only gonna need two colors and that is a black and a white. So as you can see, I'm just putting a little bit of both onto my mixing plate. Now for today's nail art, we're going to be using some iridescent chrome powder. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a thin layer of top coat on my pointer finger. And the reason I'm only doing it on my pointer finger is because I like to use this finger as my tester. Just in case I don't like something, I can easily just fix this one nail instead of having to fix all five. So yeah, that's what I did because I wasn't exactly sure if I was actually going to like this. So, you know, but after I put the top coat on and cured it for only 30 seconds, I just went in with this nice iridescent powder. I don't exactly remember where I got this iridescent chrome powder i'm pretty sure it's off of sheen or maybe it's pronounced she in i don't know it doesn't really matter but i think this nail set will look good with any chrome powder that you use it's really all up to if you want it to be shifty or a singular color if you're okay with the sort of yellowish look or you just want something that's nice and white it really all depends on what you want so after i decided that i liked it on my pointer finger i'm just going to do the same thing to the rest of the four nails and again i just want to make sure that this is clear you only want to make sure to cure that top coat for 30 seconds i only had to cure mine for 30 seconds but maybe if you have an older lamp you might want to go a little bit longer and after curing it for only half a minute i feel like it went on super perfectly and one thing i also noticed because i did kind of mess up a couple of times is that when you do wipe this off and you cured it for 30 seconds you can easily just rub it back on without having to add another layer of top coat so i really like that so now we're going to get into the line art process, but before we do that, I'm just going to go over these with a layer of base coat. Again, as I just mentioned, I did kind of mess up on my pointer finger and had to do it over again, or at least wipe it off again and like redo it. But just to be safe, I did want to go in with a layer of base coat just to protect that iridescent chrome powder. And after curing that, we're now going to go into the line art process. Now you guys, this is honestly a bit tricky, especially if this is your first time doing this. Like I said, I do like to use my pointer finger as my tester. So I had to do this nail a couple of times and I did not include that because it took a very long time to get the hang of it. One thing I will say is that your quote unquote loops need to be the largest and longest towards the cuticle area and as you get closer and closer towards the tip of the nail you want to make those loops very small and almost circular i feel like this is what helped it to give it that monarch butterfly look and also another tip you want to make sure to leave enough space at the bottom to fill in because towards the bottom of the nail is where we're going to be putting a lot of those white dots but other than that i definitely do recommend looking at a reference photo if that makes it easier because i definitely had to pull one up and i just followed that for the most part but again make sure that your loop are biggest towards the cuticle area and smallest towards the tip of the nail and i think this goes without mentioning but make sure that you are using a long liner brush anything that is too short is going to end up being really shaky looking and i know for a lot of people especially who are beginners or who don't really use liner brushes that often they're really scared of the long liner brushes for whatever reason and trust me i was the exact same way because i'm just thinking like how is this going to make my life easier but trust me it does especially if you need your line art to be super clean without any shaky lines or whatever it's going to make your life so much easier so definitely do invest in a longer liner brush and also do make sure that you are getting that black gel polish evenly distributed on the brush so that way the gel polish won't beat up at the tip and just mess you up because that's really annoying when that happens. So the way to combat that is to just make sure that you have enough gel polish on the entirety of the brush and it just prevents those drips and drops from forming in the first place. And of course, another thing to mention, you really don't want to oversaturate your brush in this gel polish because these lines are supposed to be kind of thin. And of course, if you just add too much gel polish, everything's going to start to slide a little bit and your lines may not be as crisp as you want them to be. But of course, those are all just pieces of advice. Feel free to do this however you want it i can't control you okay but those are just my bits of advice from just doing it this one time but anyways i'm just pretty much repeating the exact same process on all five fingers i am kind of doing a bit of variation between each nail but like not too much i'm kind of just switching it up just a tiny bit but for the most part they're pretty much identical but yeah i will stop rambling and let you guys watch the rest of this portion
So now that I have the butterfly design on, I'm going to go in with a little bit of white gel polish just to add some of those dots. This is the easiest part of this entire process. So I am adding a couple of dots in the portions where there's more black. And then in these smaller portions, I'm adding maybe one or two. You want to make sure that these dots are kind of small because they're not supposed to stick out that much. Again, do make sure to use a reference photo if you're not really sure what you're doing because that is exactly what I did. And once I have those dots on, I'm just making sure to cure that for about 30 seconds. And to finish off these nails, I'm going in with a single layer of top coat and curing that for 60 seconds. Okay, so all of the nail art is done and this is what they're looking like. So to finish off this nail set, I'm going to go in with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I feel like this was a really nice reset for me because as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of extra nail sets lately and doing something nice and simple was really therapeutic. I'm not gonna lie. And honestly, in my opinion, this is simple for others. I'm not too sure. I feel like my perception of what is simple and what's not is totally warped and I don't even know anymore. But even still, I love this nail set and I know it was popular more last year than it is this year, but I never got a chance to do them last year so yeah we did them today as always i would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments now this nail set in my opinion is pretty simple and i do plan on getting back to the more intricate spring and summer nail sets and y'all we are coming up on summer very quickly i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of over spring nails um so yeah I might move into summer nails pretty soon. I don't really know yet, but I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts because these nails are just so magical, especially with that iridescent chrome powder underneath it. Like I just love it so much. And then you have these shiny shards of the glitter underneath it. I just feel like these nails are so, so good. So yeah, definitely do let me know how you guys feel about these. But as always, I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.